Alrighty boys, so we are here on some um, Bloon Tower Defense uh, 6, actually, not Battles 2, and I am actually like three uh, challenges or games away from uh, black bordering my first map in this game. So, so that is going to be the goal of the video today. Now, I am currently in the game mode Impoppable, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't even know how Impoppable works. I am not like by any means good at BTD6. It does take me a little while to like I guess like trial and error, you know, but I, I figure I figure it out eventually. OK, so don't make fun of me for any of like the towers that I'm end up starting with here. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to try to go with the tax shooter first, I think. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I looked it up online. Prices are a little bit more expensive on Impoppable. You obviously start on round six instead of round one. And I don't know if there was something else as well, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to start. Oh, you only get one life, too. So maybe we should go like something like this. Maybe I should have went with a dart monkey. I know everybody always starts with the dart monkey. People were telling me that uh on stream earlier so actually i'm gonna go ahead let's just sell this let's just restart okay so you can actually sell in this game mode though now maybe we start with maybe we start with my like, maybe we start with our boomerang you guys know how i feel about the boomerang uh, so i guess we'll try again i'm gonna try to definitely save up for those more glaives for sure if i can i'm gonna try to get corvus down because dude heroes are so op in btd6 man it's ridiculous Corvus can carry you forever, probably. I mean, it seems like this is like a okay spot. Come on, don't, 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 don't. Oh, there's literally one left. Oh, I, I can't. I have nothing to pop it. No. Okay, okay. So a little microing, and we actually got that to work there. It'd be really nice if I could get that glaive ricochet. I don't know how the rounds work here, though. Set so that's at. Oh, dude, this is perfect. Yeah, set this to let. Oh, dude, that thing, the glaive goes around beautifully. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Why did I not do that before? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we have enough for the ricochet. So this will, we should be chilling then with this. I was, I don't remember what, uh, what round, I don't remember what round the camo balloons come, though. Please, thank you. As long as we get the red hot rings here, we should be absolutely chilling now with the spoon ring. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Currently around 13. I would love to either get Corvus down or get a farm down, but I am gonna need camo detection eventually. I have a visitor. My cat just jumped on my lap. Okay, round 18. Round 18. We do have a we did get our first farm down, so let's see how this goes. Alright, I'm pretty sure camo balloons are coming up soon. So I'm gonna I have to get something down for camo detection. All right, so camo's on 24. Camo is on 24. I need to remember that. I don't know when, like, camo leads come, though. Camo leads are going to be an issue. All right, I think we go for Corvus here now, like, pretty much as soon as I can. All right, we should be fine on this. Level 33, there's a lot of yellow camos that are coming through, it looks like, but no camo leads, so, which is a good sign. Corvus is almost ranked up for the vision, so that'll be very helpful. I need 3,400 for this marketplace. I also have no idea what the farm upgrades are. So don't make fun of me about my farm upgrades here. All right, so we do have the vision. So I can always use the vision if we do run into camo leads here. I don't know why I'm so panicked about camo leads. Should be fine on this, should be fine on this. Sniper should clutch. Thank you, oh my goodness, okay. I mean, I could go for like a D, like a mortar or something possibly. Can I afford shimmer? 18, what can I sell this for? Sell this for, sell you. Okay, we'll go shimmer here. We'll do that. We'll see if this works. I'm glad that you can sell in Impoppable. I know in Chimps you can't sell, but I'm glad you can with Impoppable. All right, so we're coming up to the first Moab class. I know this one comes out around 20. Plus, it also tells me in the little hints down there. Do I have enough popping power right now to stop a Moab? I mean, I could get like a Darling down. I could go for a... Could go for a Necromancer. Maybe we go for a Necromancer here. Maybe a Necromancer helps us out. I could also use some of Corvus's abilities too. So let's sell you... Go for the Necromancer. Maybe we use like a Corvus ability or something. Oh my goodness. Oh dude, that was low key close. I forgot because the Necromancer didn't pop any balloons. So it didn't have any ghost balloons on the track, bro. That could have been bad. All right, we should be chilling now though with that Necromancer for sure. All right, I think what I'm gonna do just for like a safety measure, I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna get a spike factory down in the back of the map here. Just in case a couple balloons get past us. Hopefully this will uh, kind of clutch up for us. All right, so fortified ceramics are coming up. Let's see how we deal with these. So I don't think we'll have any issues with. No, we're good, we're good. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go for another farm. Yo, the shimmer in this in BTD6 works way slower than it does in battles too. It's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay, so 
Forgive me if this is wrong, but I think I'm gonna sell these farms and go into a marketplace here. I guess we can get one more down. Maybe I didn't have to sell both of those, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get another farm down. Okay, lots of camo ceramic balloons could wreck your day, just saying. We should be okay with this, we should be okay. Wait, I can go for a wall of fire too. That'll help out a ton actually. Yeah, just go for that. We should be fine. We should be fine. Probably don't even need that tax shooter, to be honest with you. We'll go for the ring of fire just because we have it, so might as well. So double marketplace. I think... I th central market. I think that's the play. I, like I said, I have no idea how to farm in this game, so my apologies. Okay, so we got a BFB coming up on the next round. Do we have enough popping power for a BFB? Dude, I actually don't know. What do we go for? Do I play it safe and go for a cripple? I feel like I might... I'm a little scared, so I'm gonna. Do, I'm just gonna do that. We should be fine now. We should be fine now. Okay, beautiful. Having that cripple maw up is just like a nice little safety net, I guess you could say. Kind of the same thing with a spike factory in the back of the map. It's just a nice little, nice little, a mini little safety net, I guess. All right, so round 80 is here. We're about to come up to the ZOMG. I would like to go for the Glaive Lord. Do I sell a farm for it or? I don't think so, because I think I'm gonna get a bunch of money at the start of the round. So let me do this. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I still need a little bit. Okay, I guess we'll sell this. It's only 5k. Let's see how, uh, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Looks like we're okay. I think like, I think, oh no. Okay, I got scared. I got scared. I had to sell that. I'm sorry. We should be chilling now. Should be chilling now. Should be chilling now. Oh, like crap, it's a lot of Moabs though. It's a lot of BFBs. I guess it's kind of nice having the uh, sniper to stall these Moabs because it gives me a lot of time for my spike factory to build up in the back, which is sick. All right, so we just, oh my gosh. Okay, so we just beat round 90. Thank goodness I went for the ice cold pale there because Moabs were starting to push. 10 more rounds. I don't remember which round gets like really hard. I'm wondering if I should maybe go for like a super storm potentially. I feel like a super storm could be a good call here. So let me maybe go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and do, get our druid down back here. 72K. I mean, I can sell these farms. Two, four, oh, is that perfect? Yes, okay, that should be fine. That should be fine then. I know like round 90, I think it's round 98. I was gonna say, I think there's a lot of DDTs on round 93 though too, so. We should be fine here. We should be fine here. Truthfully. Round 98 is the only one that uh, kind of concerns me, so. Okay, 95 is kind of crazy, too. It's a lot of DDTs. I think you're just getting pushed back by the Superstorm, though. I did end up going for a ground zero too because again like i don't know how difficult these rounds get essentially so i'm just playing it a little extra safe here okay so round 98 is upon us do i sell the farm i think we sell the farm i'm just gonna go for a super glue here too just to like be super super sure but i do think we'll be fine here i do think we'll be fine I don't have much popping power for the bad though now that i think about it so round 100 actually might be kind of difficult for me Definitely gonna sell this farm though for it, so we'll figure something out. Okay, wait, that actually wasn't that bad. Or was that round 97? Is it round 98 now? I thought there were DDTs on round 98. Okay, either way, I need popping power for the BAD. All right, so I did put a bunch of ninjas down. Do not uh, criticize me on my placements. We ended up, I just threw them down kind of randomly. So we did end up going for the Grand Master. I think that's going to be better than the Master Bomber. I actually do not know for sure. Now that I think about it, though, I probably should have went for a Cripple Moab. We should be fine, though. We should be fine. Do I go for a Cripple instead of, like, Icicles or something? I don't think I need Icicles and Glue. How much is it? 38? I have to sell something else, so. I sell you. I sell you. Do that. I guess we'll try this. Let's see how this goes. Oh, beautiful. Easy, easy, easy. All right, round 100. Let's see, let's see.
Easy peasy. Let's go. Okay. So that was impoppable. Is that what it's called? Impoppable? All right. Yes. Yeah, so we've completed impoppable. We have two left, three left. I got to go double HP Moabs, half cash. And then we're going to go for, I'm going to do chimps, I think, on the very last one. So we'll do Moabs first, half cash next, and then we'll go chimps for the uh, final one. All right, boys, so here we are. Next came in. And as you can see, we are on hard difficulty. We're on the double Moab HP uh, this time. So I don't know if there's any like price changes or anything with this game mode or if it's just that Moabs are just double HP. Um, looks like we do have 100 lives, though. So that's kind of nice to see, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start with my boomerang, though. And we're going to set them right there. Same spots as we did in the last game because this spot is uh, goaded. And from here, yeah, we're just gonna kinda chill out and see how difficult the mobs actually are. I'm not sure how hard this difficulty actually is, but I guess we'll find out. All right, boys, we're currently at around 34. Now, I did end up getting Corvus down. I went with an Ice Monkey here in the middle, so I'm not sure if this is like gonna be the player or not. And then I did go for a Mortar as well, because uh, I think like two or three rounds ago, there were some yellow camo balloons and the yellow camo balloons were getting past the ice tower. So uh, I did end up going for the refreeze. So maybe the refreeze will help me a little bit with that. Uh, but I don't have very much money and I'm not sure what my plan is going to be for the Moab. So uh, I am still thinking about that. I'm not sure how much money I'm going to end up getting once we get to around 40. So we'll see. We'll see. Now that I think about it, to be honest, I think the I, th I think I might just still go with a I might go with a sniper. I might go with the main Moab again because it's gonna slow it down. But I don't know, I don't know how. I don't know how we're gonna do with just this boomer. I'm gonna have to get something else down too. I might have to sell the farm. I'm not sure yet. Nah, uh, so we'll see. We'll kind of see how this plays out here. Okay, so first Moab class balloon. Let's do let's do the sniper. Yeah, see, I don't have enough for. I need like 2,500. Can't sell this for it. Let's sell the farm just to be safe. I might go faster firing here too. And then I might just have to use Corvus's abilities here. That's well, going to be the double damage for the Moab, right? Maybe I, I don't know if I'm like, I'm like over estimating how hard this is actually going to be because that actually was not bad at all. Okay, so level up 69 let's go all right let's get a let's get our farm back down all right so some of the balloons almost like past there i did have to go for my more glaives which uh should be fine all right uh, yeah was it more glaives is that what it's called more glaives yeah more glaives I only had the ricochet for a while. I actually forgot about getting the more glaives. So we do have the more glaives now. I think we're in a pretty decent spot. I'm not going to lie. So I'm just going to keep on farming here as much as I can. All right, nice. So main mob definitely came in clutch there. So again, I have no idea what the farm like path is to go here. So I'm just kind of winging this. Uh, I'll probably eventually end up selling a couple of these into a central market here at some point. I'm thinking I probably am going to eventually get a probably like a sticky bomb down. Or what I could do is I could go for a uh, I could go for a could go for an eventual Moab domination here. Maybe that's what we do. Not sure where exactly I'm gonna want this though. Maybe we put it somewhere somewhere relatively like closer up. So let's do this. Go for the Moab press. Faster throwing. We'll try that. We'll try that. All right, so round six is here on the first BFB, which again, I'm not really, I'm not too concerned about it. I guess I should go for a central market. I probably should have got that before the round started, but I kind of forgot. Uh, but Moab definitely looks pretty stunned there from the main Moab. Uh, I did also end up going for uh, embrittlement here, which I think is going to help out a lot as well, uh, kind of in the long run. So everything seems to be going okay for the time being, which is nice. I'm gonna have to get more popping power somewhere though. So I'm wondering if maybe, I don't know if I save up for the Glaive Lord or if we go for maybe like a bottom path sniper or something, which could be a potential option. Oh, we got a fortified mob here. These might be a little bit more challenging, but we should still be fine. Nice, okay. All right, I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna end up going for the Glaive Lord. I think that's just gonna be the play here. 
Ooh, that did push a little bit though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. It would be nice if maybe I could get the boomerang like here. So maybe I do a, a separate boomerang. We put it like right here and this can be our glaive lord. So maybe that's what I'll end up doing. Yeah, these mobs definitely, they definitely do take a little bit longer to pop for sure. That is okay. That is okay. Oh, okay. Those did push. All right, so I'm going to go ahead just to help out with a little bit of the defense here. I'm going to get another boomerang down. This will be our eventual glaive lord. So we'll do this. Go with the bottom path on that. And we'll go glaive lord here in just a sec. I think we just have to pop one, maybe, maybe two of these moabs, and then we should have enough for it. Or not. Okay, now we have it. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. We should be chilling now. Like, we should be absolutely chilling now. Oh, dude, that Glaive Lord absolutely shreds those things. That is so nice to see. I almost, like, don't want that sniper anymore because I feel like it's just, like, making the rounds, like, take too long, essentially. That's what I feel like. But I do kind of still want to keep it, like, just in case, you know? Okay, around 77 is here. Uh, I'm pretty sure round 80 is the ZOMG, right? Which again, like I just, I don't think we're going to have any issues at all, even against the ZOMG. Uh, worst comes to worst, we could probably just go for like a Moab Domination or something. Uh, I could go for the Super Brittle. I don't know if I'll have enough for both. Maybe if I sell all the farms, possibly. Okay, beautiful. All right, so I am, all oh, the rounds still going, but I am going to go for the Moab Domination here. So round 79 is here. I'm gonna probably just go ahead and sell all these farms and then we'll just go for a super brittle with our ice here. Uh, and then I think we'll be, I think we'll be chilling. I think we'll be done. At least with this game mode. So let's just get through round 79 here first. Okay, so we'll just sell all these. Go for our brittle mint. And then I guess maybe is like all last resort, we can go for some super mines here in the back let's do that or spiked mines i mean not super mines spiked mines but yeah like i said i don't think i do not think we'll have any issues here whatsoever yeah the zmg is like not even gonna get past like anything there okay beautiful beautiful that's so okay so that actually wasn't that bad that wasn't too hard at all so we completed the double hp moab all right we got two more we got half cash and then we have chimps so uh, we'll go half cash first i actually don't know how hard this one's gonna be either i've never done the half cash before so can you use cash drops in this i actually don't know we do have 100 lives though so we should be fine oh dude i can't even start with the boomerang here shoot that kind of stinks I'm not sure if this is gonna be the spot for the dart but i guess we'll try it what can i sell it for 50. if we leak lives i'm fine with that we don't have to go for no lives lost here so i don't really care about not leaking lives um but i am gonna sell this we're gonna go right in for the boomerang here next i just feel like this is a very decent start like starting tower oh, wait gotta set it to last yeah i think this is i think at least on this map this is just the best start that I've found so far. So definitely feeling the uh, the whole half cash thing. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we're on round nine. I have $240 to my name right now. Uh, I need to go for the glaives though. So we, one more pop. We got that now. Perfect, perfect. All right, so we need uh, like 30 more dollars. We should be able to get the glaives here relatively soon. I'm down to 73 lives though. It kind of stinks, but it is what it is. All right, go ricochet now. Set you back to first. Now we should be good. Nice. Okay, so I do want to go for the longer range, though, so we can get that extra damage. Not the longer range, but the uh, red hot rangs is what it is. That'll give us just some extra damage. But what? Bro, we popped that balloon and it just didn't pop. That's kind of annoying. All right, whatever. Okay. Red Hot Rangs with Ricochet. We should be fine. We should be fine. Do have to watch out for the Camo Bloons, so though, coming up eventually. I think it's 24 is when the Camo Bloons start to come, right? I wonder if I'll be able to afford a Ninja. I think a Ninja is going to be better than... I think a Ninja is going to be better than just a regular Dart Monkey. All right, so 540 for the Ninja. 
I think we do the ninja. I think I'll keep it like right here, I guess, to start. I don't know if that's going to be a decent enough spot though, but whatever. We should be able to make it work. I can set it to camo priority two. Okay, and then I do, I think I'm going to go for, I think I'm going to end up going for the counter espionage to possibly help out a little bit when it comes to like camo detection. It's going to allow our boomerang to at least pop some of the balloons. Or do I save up and go for a Corvus? Oh no. Oh no, we're good on this. We're good. Oh my gosh, that scared me for a sec. I thought those were I thought we didn't have lead popping power for a sec. Okay, do this. Try that. I would like to get either Corvus down or a farm. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need something for Moab damage here. I don't know if a farm is gonna be the play or not though, because the Moab's coming up on round 40. I just don't know if we're gonna have enough for it all. Let's see, how much is the farm? 13. Okay. Let's go for Corvus. Okay, so around, we got Moab class now. Shoot. I wonder if maybe a bomb would be good. A bomb's relatively cheap. I don't know. Could go for maybe a crossbow. I don't think a double shot ninja will be good enough. Could maybe do another sniper again, just because the sniper is going to give like map wide range. Or we could maybe do a dartling. I could do a super monkey. Maybe we'll do a super monkey. Is that too expensive? I mean, that's going to do a decent amount of damage though, right? Maybe we do that. I don't, I have no idea if that's the play or not. Let's try. We'll use some spells from Corvus too. Okay. Well, that worked out. I don't know if that was the most efficient or ideal way to do that, but it worked out. Okay, I'm going to go for a farm here too real quick. Okay, so we're on around 48 now. I seem to be doing okay. I'm not sure when the next Moab comes through, though. I do need to get some uh, more defense down. I might go for the double shots here with the ninja, potentially. I might either that or I might just... Dude, I might have to go for, like, more overall, like, camo detection because maybe I go for another mortar again. Could do a wizard. Maybe I go for another mortar again. Let's try that. Let's do the mortar. I'm going to set target right in the middle. Don't have enough for it just yet, but. Okay, so lots of camel ceramics could wreck your day, just saying. Do I have enough for No, I don't. 3200 is what I need. Should I go lasers? I was going to try to go for the uh, more glaives, but maybe the lasers are the play here. Okay, okay, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Nice, beautiful. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, dude, we leaked a little bit there. Oh, that was not good. Okay. Uh oh. Maybe I should not have gone for another farm. You can't set this to control mouse either, I don't think. I could have switched the target on this. Ooh, dude, we're okay. More. I'm like playing with fire right now, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like really relying on like Corvitz's spells to help me out here. I wonder if maybe we do like a darling gun or something. Potentially. I need to, I need to go for the, I gotta go for the more glaives, man. Or I could save up for plasma potentially. It's just, I don't have like very good Moab defense right now. Okay. If I can target this mortar a little bit, we should be fine. We should be fine. There's camos here, though, so I don't know if I'll be able to target it too much with the camo balloons coming around. I'm going to go for the more glaives here. We're going to do that. Okay. At least it's not half cast when you sell back something, which is uh, actually like really, really nice. I'm not going to lie. I feel like farms are an absolute necessity in this game mode for sure. Then again, I could be very wrong. I don't know. But I feel like I feel like farms are an absolute necessity oh, i still don't have enough for the marketplace okay now we do now we do beautiful beautiful okay we seem to be holding our own now oh shoot maybe double shot this i guess i might use the big the slap hand here thing ancestral might nice okay beautiful beautiful okay mortar's coming in clutch for us as well which is really nice to see do I go for another mortar, maybe? Maybe I go for another mortar. Do I have enough of Bloom Jitsu? No, not yet. Bro, do I go for another farm? I don't want to be like... Maybe we do. We could try, we could try. 
Again, as long as I can continuously like micro this uh, mortar, we should be fine. We're not running into any like crazy, crazy issues right now. This fortified, this fortified mode might be kind of hard. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Oh no, dude, I accidentally moved Corvus, dude. I didn't mean to move her there. Or him. Oh shoot. I don't even know what I was trying to click on. <laughs> I accidentally, oh dude. No. I, was, I think I was trying to click the first ability and I accidentally clicked the second one. And then I went to click the first one again and I accidentally set him down. I'll definitely move him back. I'm going to keep this mortar, mortar like targeted here for now, but I see now I'll switch over here. Okay, switch it back here. Here. Back in. Okay. Ooh, bro, this is getting close. Holy crap. Okay. I got to go for something else, man. I have to. I wonder if a heli would be a decent play. Like, like I need something that's going to move more around the track, you know? Do I go for the balloon jitsu? We could try the balloon jitsu. We'll try this. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to restart. I'm not going to continue. I have to restart. Shoot. Regrow fortified ceramics. I'm getting scared, man. I'm not going to lie. I can always use a Corvus ability. I don't know like what abilities for Corvus are the best, though. Should be fine against these the ceramics there, though. That doesn't seem like it's much of an issue. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. Round 75. Almost done. Almost done. No. Oh my god, dude, I panicked so bad. Like, I don't know what to do. No, 75. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, boys. We've made it all the way back to round 74. Pretty sure this is the furthest I've gotten. I have played so many games trying to get here, and we've done zero restarts. Well, or, like, like not, like, continuing. I've restarted a million times. But, like, no, like, continuing. I did not use any, like, of the, what are I called, powers or whatever here. My setup is so whack right now. But... I'm, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm praying that we can make this work. I have two plantations here that I can potentially sell. So we have just about 10K worth, uh, just under $10,000 worth of selling power. Two more. Two more rounds. 79, 78. Or, geez, 79 and 80. 79 and 80. Yes, this is also a new day, by the way. Um, it is the next morning in which I am uh, trying to finish this video or finish this challenge. Are we good? Oh my gosh. Dude, there were a lot of camos on that still. That was... Okay. Two more rounds now. Two more rounds now. I think I should... Oh, dude. I think I should go for another main Moab, man. I'm not even kidding. Like, I really feel like I should. 
But I should, dude, I also want to go for, how much is a dragon's breath? 35? I could sell this for a dragon's breath, actual. I think we're going to sell this. Dragon's Breath. I'm gonna go, I'm not sure what the best cross path is. Maybe bottom, I guess. Try that. And then I still have $2,000. Do I like, maybe what we do is go for this. We might have enough. We might have enough to go for another Druidist Storm here. Potentially, okay. Keep this set. If I have to change the mortar, I'll change the mortar. I'm gonna move it up maybe just a tiny bit. And then bring it back just a tiny bit. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. I don't want to use any of Corvus's abilities because I like really want to save them for round 80, if possible. A couple fortified BFPs. Uh oh, Dude, this isn't good. Okay, so we somehow pop the one behind that first, I think. Is that what I'm seeing? Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We should be good here. We should be good here. I'm not worried. No, no, we're good, we're good. Okay. It's the OMG. Last one. Like, get me off of this freaking game mode, dude. I know, I like, is Chimps harder than this game mode, dude? I have no idea. Chimps isn't half cash. Dude, the half cash is so hard. So hard. Okay. Oh, man, I, dude, I don't know. Is there anything that I can go for, like, for an emergency or something? Like, I don't have enough for the main Moab here, unfortunately. Even if I sold that, I wouldn't have enough. Phoenix for 7k? We'll just, let's just start it. Just start it. Use Corvus ability. Get the, get the card game way up here to start for this, um, mortar. Okay, we can do this. This, wait, we, this should be fine. This should be fine. It's not even fortified. But, like, we should be okay. If we can pop this thing down relatively quickly here. Like I've dealt with four. We've definitely dealt with four BFBs in a round. Oh wait, I don't have any for, I don't have any of the spells to use. Uh oh. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm not worried, I'm not worried. Oh my God, let's go, thank God. Dude, that was so hard. That was so hard. Okay, last one, we got one more chimps. And then we've blackboarded our first uh, our first map. Okay, chimps. There's no selling, so this could be. I start with way more money though. Thank God. Okay, this could be hard. So I've been rocking with the boomerang spot right here, and this has actually been working out really, really well. And you saw it on round six. I didn't know that. Okay, we cannot leak a single life though. We cannot leak a single life. I don't want to have to probably get a dart monkey down eventually. I think I go red hot ranks here though first. Oh dude, you can't farm in this game mode either, can you? Shoot, okay. Okay, not too worried, not too worried here. I think we're doing okay, I think we're doing okay. I would love to get Corvus down as quickly as I can, but I don't know how long this boomerang's gonna carry me. Should be fine, should be fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Beautiful. Okay, Corvus. Here. Okay, with this, I'm not too worried. I think we'll be chilling here. I think we'll be chilling here. There's like no way you can earn any money whatsoever in this game mode, right? Like I don't, I, even if I went for like a sniper or supply drop, I don't think there's, I still don't think you make money. Correct? Almost positive. Yeah, I don't remember what round the... Uh, Camo Bloom Cut. I think it, it might be 21. It might be like 22 or something, but I'm gonna see if hopefully I can afford this. Okay, that's fine. If, if Okay, we should be fine. We should be fine. If this is the camo round, I can just throw like a ninja or something down. And it's not. Okay, beautiful. So with that said, we should be able to get the signal flare relatively soon here. I mean, I could also use Corvus's. No, she's not level five yet. Is that like he or she? I don't even know. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Alright, so round 40, first Moab class balloon. Um, what do we, what should we go for? What can I try maybe use something we haven't used yet? Maybe like a cannon? Could use like a cannon. Try this. I don't know how good the cannon's gonna be. Oh no. Dude, I accidentally hit my keyboard. I didn't, oh my gosh, I did not. Dude, <laughs> I didn't mean to put the cannon there. Do I just leave that? 
Is that worth upgrading? That's in a kind of a terrible spot. I mean, it could be worse, but oh, shoot. I did not need to put that there. Whatever. Set to strong. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. It just like that cannon's going to be there for that's kind of dumb. Whatever. Oh, OK, we've got I mean, I got almost 10 grand. Like, I feel like we should maybe get something else up soon. Maybe what we could do is go for an ice. Put the ice like right here. Go for a middle path on this. <sighs> is it going to stop the balloons there, though? Let me test something. Does it slow them down? It does not. <sighs> I don't want to go for the bottom path, but I think we're going to have to. Unfortunately. Okay, that should be fine. Maybe it's just not the spot for the ice, though, unfortunately. Could have made that like an embrittlement or actually something useful. I thought that it would... I didn't think I would have to go for the bottom path on that. I thought I could have gotten away with it, but I guess not. I guess not. I do think I'm going to go for a sniper, though. I'm going to put the sniper here because I'm debating. I might get a village at some point. And if I get a village, I'm going to put the village, like, probably somewhere, like, right here-ish. Not sure. So, I'm going to get a sniper, though. It's very reliable, is that sniper. Not going to lie. I'll be honest, I am so much more confident about this game mode than the one that I just played. It's not even funny. I thought Chimps was going to be uh, way... Dude, half cash was... That was no joke, man. That probably took me eight tries. I do want embrittlement though. So I do think I'm still gonna go for an embrittlement here. Just kind of a weird spot. Do I go for a larger radius or middle? I think we still go large. We can do that, we'll be fine here. Okay, I think it was around 54 that I had a hard time on uh, in the last game mode. So I do have to be kind of ready for round 54 here in a sec. It does get a little crazy. What do we go for though? I could stick like a ring of fire here maybe. Maybe a ring of fire could be a decent play. Especially kind of being like around that ice. Maybe we'll do that. Because these will take care of a lot of the ceramics in here. Dude, I feel like this is going to be like a breeze, man. I'm not even joking. I feel like I have so much money. It's not even funny right now. See, like even I'm not even worried about this in any way, shape or form. I think what I could maybe go for is an elite defender, but I do also kind of want to save up for that Glaive Lord. Like, nothing has gotten past this Ring of Fire yet, which is very nice to see, I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay, so they pushed a little bit more that time, around 64. But again, I'm still really not worried in any way, shape, or form. We should be fine. Alright, so we're coming up to around 73 here. Again, I, I have no idea, like, what rounds are harder than others. A lot of this is, like... I know some of the rounds, like I know around 98, I'm pretty sure it is, is one of the harder rounds. I know like DDTs come on around 90, I believe, for the first time. So like I know some of the rounds, but I don't know. Like I know a lot of people who play this game like crazy, essentially know like what every single round is. Um, so I don't know if like there's any, you know, mysteriously hard rounds that are coming up, or at least after like round 80. So far, it seems like we're still doing okay. We're still doing okay. Okay, those actually pushed. Those actually pushed kind of a lot. Dude, that was close. Okay, that was close. I had to go for the uh I had to go for the elite defender there. To like save me from that. Holy crap. If I would have just died there, I would have that's been happy. Oh man, what do I do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Do I just keep playing? Okay, that that wasn't bad. I've still yet to use a Corvus spell in any way. Do I go for a May Moab? I feel like I should. Could I go for like a Sticky Bomb or something too, even? Could be a decent option. Maybe we'll go for a Sticky Bomb. Maybe we'll try that. I'm not sure if that's the best spot for the Sticky Bomb, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Okay, love to see it, love to see it. 75 ceramics. Like, I don't think we'll have any issues here with these. If these push, maybe we'll get like a druid or something in the back to blow everything back. 
I, mean, I could use a Corvus ability. Ah, that was probably overkill. I don't think we had to do that, but... I guess better safe than sorry. Coming up to the ZOMG here in a sec. Maybe we do go for like a main Moab or something here. Loki, I kind of want to go for the... I might go for the Shattering Shells, because... The fortified Moabs are actually kind of annoying. All right, ZOMG, do I need anything extra here? I don't think so. I might go for a spike storm, or not a spike storm. I might go for spikes in the back. No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We're good. We're good. Let's keep playing. Just keep going. Okay, so we are in round 81. So I don't have much experience beyond round 80. Since I don't think any of the other game modes went beyond round 80. So... Maybe we use a Corvus ability here. Cast the hand. Use this thing. This thing. Okay, we're chilling there. I do still want to go for that Glaive Lord really bad. I think that'll be our next uh, our next upgrade. Because Glaive Lord's going to solo a bunch of stuff. I never did go for the... I never did, did go for the uh, village. Okay, wait a sec. Okay, we're chill. We're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, go for the Glade Lord. Go for that, go for that. Getting a little scary here, I'm not gonna lie. I do think I go for a village next, though. Which I feel like I probably should have gotten earlier because I could have discounted a lot of stuff here, but that's fine. I'm gonna get as many of these in here as I can. Just like that, perfect. What do I go for with a village up? Maybe Middle Path? I was gonna go for the MIB and then possibly a Call to Arms. I do feel like I should maybe go for like an Ice and Pale at some point too, because that's going to help out a lot with the DDTs. Glaive Lord here and... Glaive Lord and the Sniper are going to solo this. I think the Shattering Shells was a decent play with that Mortar, because... Like I said, those mobs, they actually, they push pretty hard. Like, they push pretty far. I think I need to go for a Shinobi at some point too. Shinobi Tactics. Okay, wait, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, okay. Alright, so next round I'm pretty sure is DDTs, so... I I'm not gonna have enough of the Icicle and Pale though, which kinda stinks, so maybe I go for a Maim Moab then. Yeah, so maybe we go for a Maim here. Let me go ahead and grab... We'll keep it in range of the village, in case we do upgrade this village, so... Maim Moab. I'm thinking bottom path, probably? I guess bigger radius and jungle drums make everything shoot a little bit faster. We should be fine with the DDTs. We should be fine. I do think also I might go for a Shinobi Tactics here. Or Blue and Sabotage, my bad. Not Shinobi, Blue and Sabotage is what I meant. That's what I meant. Okay, beautiful. We'll go for the Shinobi. We should be good. We should be good. We should be good. Not worried, not worried, not worried. Yet at least. Okay, wait. No, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, having that Glaive Lord in the back for like that cleanup is so clutch. You can't stack sticky bombs either, I don't think, right? I don't think you can. I don't even have the tier five unlocked for the ninja, it looks like. Oh no, just kidding. I'm looking at the middle path, Never mind. Maybe another main Moab, probably. No, maybe I go for a Druid. Let me go for a Druid towards the back of the map. We'll do that, and then maybe I wanna get, this would be like a last line of defense. Cause 93 I think is pretty hard this round. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Perfect, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, let's go for this. We'll get the spike balls next. Maybe you seek uh, Ancestral Might with Corvus, possibly. Maybe this too. I need more popping power though. Once, uh, oh. Yes, beautiful. Okay, let's go, dude, let's go. Okay, we're so close. <sighs> to be honest with you, man, I think I might just go for like, dude, I could go for a middle path boomer, but I think I'm just gonna go for tax shooters. Is that worth it though? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, all is good, all is good. Boons are not pushing too far. I'm not sure how much money I'm going to get within the next round or two, so. Oh, okay. Dude, 
We got three more rounds. Three more rounds. Also, if uh, BTD6 is something that you guys want to see me play a little bit more on stream, uh, we did play it a couple of times on stream, and we did like the co-op mode, which was a ton of fun. And uh, I've been streaming so much recently, uh, which has been really, really good. Okay, so quick side note, we are on round 98. Do I go for more popping power here? Do I go for a sniper? Do I go for, oh, buddy. I might go for more tax, to be honest with you. I don't, I do not know if this is the play. Okay, I guess we'll try that. Oh, I never did upgrade my spike factory in the back, but that's fine. Okay, round 98. We're gonna go slow motion here. We'll go fast motion for a sec. There's a bunch of Corvus abilities, I think, too. Maybe Sabo now. Spike balls, faster production. I think we're chill. I think we're good. I think we're good. Hardest round, hardest round. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. So, like I was saying, I've been streaming a ton recently. Um, so, if you guys want to see me play some more BTD6, by all means, let me know. Uh, because I do plan to. No, no. Am I dead? Oh my gosh, because I do plan to continue streaming uh, just because it's been like a really, really good distraction for me recently. So if you guys did not know, I am uh, kind of going through a little bit. Uh, we had a pretty rough breakup recently. Uh, so the streaming has been keeping me occupied for sure. So if you guys do want to see me keep playing the BTD6 or if there's any other games that you guys want to see me play, by all means, please let me know in the comments down below. Oh uh, yeah, that is why my sleep schedule has been so messed up recently. Um, I've been dude, waking up at like three o'clock in the morning and just can't fall back asleep for the life of me so uh, i'm trying the best that i can to take you know advantage of it somewhat the best that i can uh with keeping myself occupied with the whole streaming thing so yeah like i said let me know if you guys want to you know see me play more battles <clears throat> play more btd6 or any other games because i'm totally open to all of it but we are in round 100 here this is the uh, final round looks like we should be good not too worried, not too worried. I hope. Please, okay, thank you. Okay, so let's just make sure we did black border this because I could be missing something. So go home, play. Oh, we do, that's so nice. That's so cool. That is the first map that I black border. I don't even have all the maps unlocked. Not even gonna lie. I have a bunch of maps still to unlock. So so if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do plan to play some more BTD6. Like I said, let me know if you want to see me stream it a little bit more too. But I, I do think I'm gonna try to go for some more like black borders here because next to the half cash game mode, uh, I actually did have a lot of fun doing that. So maybe I can even do like a timed challenge or something to see how long it takes me. That would be something fun to do on stream. If there's any other maps that you guys want to see me try, uh, leave those in the comments down below as well. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.